Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Thumb Fun from Sid Lorraine and Devin Knight. What is it? It's a prediction style effect that has a really fun uh, kicker at the end. And if you'd like to see what it looks like, this is it. I have brought along a piece of paper, actually several pieces of paper, not these cards. They're in my pocket. They come all the way from Canada. They're photographic paper and they will do an amazing thing. Now let me show you. I'm going to pick up these. Would you pick up the card right there? Just the top card there. Look at the card. You can show it to everybody out there. Put the card back on top of the deck and put these cards back on top of that. Do that. Put the cards back inside of the box and then I'm going to show you one of my favorite magical card tricks ever in my entire career because you see it's not really magic it's scientific I brought along these little pieces of paper that a friend gave me years ago it, they come from Canada and they have a special photographic sheen I don't know if you can see it if I hold it up to the light there Mikhail but 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 it's really there there and I've, I've got about oh a half a dozen of them here anyway they will pick up magical brain waves and impulses. Now, you know what card you looked at. It could be a red card, black card. You know what it is. I don't. I'm going to take this top little piece of photographic paper, and I'm going to ask you to hold up your thumb like this. We're going to have thumb fun. Never mind. Hold it still. Think of your card and make the thought of your card go right down through your arm, all the way past your elbow and up to your thumb there. And I'm going to try to get an impression of it right now. One, two, three. You can put your thumb down now. It takes about 10 seconds to develop, you know, like the old Polaroid. Pretty soon it'll happen instantaneously. But I'm just going to lift my thumb. By the way, you can tell me now, it won't matter. What was your card? Three of spades. Three of spades. The three of spades. Will you, would you look at this? Let me wipe that ink off, because if I'm not mistaken, that right there, you look at it, and you look at it, is the three of spades. All right, so that was David Ginn in the video. I kindly asked him if he would uh, allow me to show his performance of it, and he graciously agreed. Uh, this, like I said, was created by Sid Lorraine, but it was actually brought to you in this form by magician Devin Knight. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, the first of which is, what is in the bag? That's right, <laughs> this is done in a bag. And so I think if you're uh, familiar with purchasing magic tricks maybe back in the 80s, uh, this would definitely feel familiar to you. Uh, it def that's what it felt like when I got this. I was like, man, did I order this from uh, one of the old magic companies that I used to get things from way back in the 80s? Or uh, your favorite local magic shop, remember used to have uh, all of these little baggies in their glass window and you'd, you'd pick something out and inside would be these photocopied instructions and a little envelope that contained your gimmicks and gas. That's kind of the throwback feel that I got uh, when I got Thumb Fun. Uh, what you get is you get uh, two pieces of paper printed of instructions. And of course you get your little color uh, front advertisement there. You get a manila envelope and then inside that you get uh, a handful of cardstock white uh, cut up same sized pieces of paper, your prediction cards that you saw in the video, and of course the revelations. Is it what I thought? Uh, yeah, it is what I thought. It, you watch the trick pretty much and you can see everything that's involved and uh, you can kind of uh, come up with your own routine, especially if you've heard of magic before uh, and you're familiar with some uh, slides and moves. I know they say that there's no slides involved, but technically you're going to have to be able to force a card, so that I, I always consider that a slide. And then second, you're going to have to be able to hide and then reveal the uh, end prediction, the, the thumb print. And so that would definitely take some misdirection, and so I would also venture to say that that's a slight. How are the angles on this? They're really good. They're really clean. I don't think you'd have any issues with this. The one movement that you have to do in order to uh, change the blank cards into a reveal card is really unseen and, and would go by unnoticed uh, depend, no matter what your surroundings. Can it be inspected? I think all the cards can be inspected once you are completely finished. Of course, no one's going to ask to inspect this beforehand. Uh, there's really no trap doors. There's no, nothing to find uh, in this. And I think that you, know, you could certainly hand these out. Uh, to anyone who wanted to see them afterwards. What's the overall quality and production value? Uh, like I said, it's it's photocopied paper and then uh, cardstock 
It was run through a printer and then cut up with a paper cutter. So it, that's, your, that's your production value. Is it well made? I'll say it again. It's photocopied paper, <laughs> two pieces of paper, and then cardstock uh, cut uh, with a paper cutter after it had gone through a printer. And so that's what you're getting. You're getting the little cards and you're getting a little bit of envelope to hold it all in and then you're getting photocopied instructions. How much practice does it require? It's not gonna require much practice at all, especially if you're already familiar with some card tricks um, that require maybe like an Elmsley count or some sort of uh, uh, slight where you hide a card that you don't want people to see. Uh, I think would be very familiar with this and you would easily begin to adapt Thumb Fun into your repertoire. All right, so what are some of the positives? Positives for this, it's your opportunity to have uh, a famous Sid Lorraine trick. Uh, and I think that right there appeals to a lot of people, especially since uh, it's previously been either unpublished or hard to obtain. I know that this trick was also a favorite uh, with Doug Henning, and so that's certainly another uh, draw to this and maybe another reason why people would want to have it. I think, also think it's very cute and it would play very well for children and kids at a party or in sort of some area where you would be in a teaching or classroom setting. All right, so what are the negatives? Negatives to this, uh, just like we say around here, there's negatives to every magic trick. These are just the ones I see. They don't have to be the ones that you see. Uh, so it's 20 bucks and I'll just include this with, is it worth your money? Uh, it's $20 and this style of effect now usually gets sold as a download. You know, I could easily see this as a PDF where they give you the instructions and then another PDF where they say print this out on cardstock and cut these out. Uh, and I think if they had done it that way, they could have included more revelations, maybe ESP revelations, shapes, animals, other things that um, would incorporate itself into this style of effect. You're not just limited with cards, obviously. Uh, and maybe a more creative person could even come up with something where you actually used an ink pad and showed ink on your thumb, maybe. And, and so that would be uh, something to explore, I think, as well. Who would like this? I think anyone who's looking to collect uh, tricks from Sid Lorraine, I think that people uh, who like little pocket tricks, especially tricks that have a very funny, uh, or fun, I should say, a fun story, a fun theme. Uh, and again, like I said, people that might be into children's magic or performing uh, magic for parties. All right, so that is my review for Thumb Fun from Sid Lorraine. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks, bye.